Hey Star Wars fans, does this treehouse in North Carolina look oddly familiar? I'll give you a hint, it's modeled after the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. That's right, the Millennium Falcon. It was designed by Nelson Treehouse. You know, the team from Animal Planet's show Treehouse Masters. And the way they married the design of the ship with a modern, fully functional house in the trees is truly out of this world. Let's start with the exterior. Looking at it head on, you may notice two outer decks with a net in between. Those are modeled after the two prongs on the front of the Falcon, known as the forward mandibles. The net is actually a hammock so you can lounge and watch the sunset. While this may not have been intentional, it's a cool nod to Solo A Star Wars Story, when we first see the Millennium Falcon and learn it was originally all one piece, with an escape pod connecting the two mandibles. To the left, you'll see the cockpit, which is actually an office, but more on that later. And on the right, there's a standard staircase leading you up to the main floor. The Nelson Treehouse team wanted to give the illusion the Millennium Falcon was floating amid the trees, which required a bunch of heavy-duty posts to secure it. Then, to ensure it lasts for years, the team covered the house in red cedar shingles and a metal roof, and invested in a wall of Marvin windows, which bring in a ton of natural light. Are you dying to go inside? Let's do it. Chewie. We're home. The treehouse spans two stories, with the main living area on the lower level, and a staircase leading up to a lofted kids' room up top. And the top level is where you'll get the best sense of just how massive this treehouse is. It's a thousand square feet! Even a Wookiee wouldn't get claustrophobic in here. It's a cool hangout for kids and adults alike, with a circular skylight to let in plenty of sunshine. The lower level is even more impressive though. Instead of a labyrinth of round tunnels like the interior in the movie, the focus was making this a livable home in the trees, so the Nelson Treehouse team stuck to a pretty open floor plan. There's a dining table that can comfortably fit five just to the right of the stairs, with a full kitchen behind it. It really makes the most of its tiny footprint, squeezing in a retro cool snag fridge and matching microwave, along with a compact stove top, and an island that can double as a hangout for two people. Just behind the kitchen is the master bedroom, with a queen size bed and built in nightstand. There's a full closet and a small dresser, which makes this officially larger than most one bedroom apartments in New York City. Need I remind you that all this is in a treehouse? But that's not all. There's also a full bathroom, complete with a shower lined and sleek white subway tile, a sink, and a toilet. No outhouses here. There's even a full living room decked out with a rustic meets mid-century vibe that feels right in line with the home's retro-futuristic style. How cute is that needlepoint pillow, by the way? You may have noticed that there are nods to Star Wars all over this house, and rightfully so. But really, all of these details pale in comparison to what is undeniably the coolest room in the treehouse. Just past the living room through a storage hall is the home office, and its location will make you feel like a total boss. As you file those TPS reports, you can sit right in the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. There's a built-in desk with killer 270 degree views of nature. And if you're burning the midnight oil, there are sconces flanking either side, not to mention that cute R2-D2 table lamp to light your way. But honestly, with a view like that, I'm not sure I'd get much done, especially knowing that just outside is that full deck and lounge area. Now what are the odds that you could land a home like this yourself? Never tell me the odds. About as high as landing a date with Harrison Ford. This home isn't for sale, but you can call Nelson Treehouse, the builders behind this project, and see if they can tackle something similar for you. The rest of us will just have to dream about this house in a forest far, far away. 